Hi everyone, my name is Cecilia. Most people just call me Cece. Uh, I am the Vulcan Cross Stitches with the E missing on Instagram. Can't spell very well, but that's okay. Um, this is going to be my first floss too. I am looking to set up a, a record of all of my work in progresses, see how far I've come. Uh, so pretty much mainly for me to keep track of things. Uh, but if people end up watching it and everything, awesome. So if you're here watching it, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoy this kind of jumping back and forth uh, video. A uh, little bit of ADHD here, so yay. Uh, I have some notes off to the side, so if I'm looking that way, it's looking at my notes. Um, so a little bit about me. I am 33 years old. I'm going to be 34 at the end of May. Uh, I have a long-term boyfriend named David. Uh, we've been dating for uh, it'll be 11 years this year, which is really exciting. I have two cats, a five-year-old pigeon, and I'll try to put a picture up here of her. And her, I guess, half-brother, they both share the same mom, uh, Cornbread, who's three years old. And again, I'm going to try to put a picture up here. I love them dearly. They're my little babies. Uh, they, there's a cat tree right here. Generally, they're up on the cat tree, but it doesn't look like they're up there now. So hopefully they won't be jumping down in my lap while I'm doing this. Uh, I have a bachelor's in fine arts with an emphasis of illustration. Uh, I live in Michigan. And I work as a technical illustrator for a sign making company, which is pretty cool. Um, it's, you know my first big girl job that has my degree. Yay. Um, so uh, some of my other passions besides cross stitching. Uh, I love drawing and sketching. I've been drawing and sketching and doing art and arts and crafts ever since I could probably hold a crayon. Uh, so a very long time. Um, I love doing watercolor. I not recently but somewhat recently got into watercolor. It was always kind of intimidating, but once I started doing it, you know, it's still intimidating, but I really, really love it. Uh, I collect and play board games. Uh, I'm actually trying to make my own, but that one's going pretty slowly. I'm kind of working on other things at the moment. But I have, like, over 150 games. Um, I can, if someone is interested, I can always show my collection. Uh, I play D&D. I love Dungeons & Dragons. I am currently um, the dungeon master for two campaigns, which is really, really fun, and I love it a lot. Um, I like video games when I have a chance to play. Uh, I have, you know, mostly PlayStation, a uh, little bit of Nintendo, not much of Xbox. Um, I was a tattoo apprentice for a year and a half, um, but kind of ran out the ran out of funds to do that, so. Had to step away from that, but also it was a year and a half of no time off and working every single day and running around and it was, it was, it was very taxing. It wore me out a little bit. Absolutely love it though. Um, sorry if I jump around a little bit, uh, ADHD, super fun. Um, but anyway, to cross stitching. So my cross stitching history, I started roughly March of 2021. Uh, I don't remember what caused me to start. I think it was a pattern that I will show you most of anyway. Not a pattern, but like the finished product that I will show you most of and that will be explained in a second. Um, once I finished that one and like maybe two other tiny ones, I, I don't know. I just stopped doing it for a little bit. Um, I don't know what made me stop, probably ADHD and focusing on something else. Um, but in April 2023, so just last year, I started picking up again and dove right into it. Just absolutely very head over heels in it now. Um, let's see. Uh, I taught my help, my, I taught myself to stitch. I've also taught myself how to like knit, crochet, and sew and everything, so I'm pretty used to just 
you know, if it's with my hands, I'm generally pick it up pretty fast. But yeah, I've taught myself with a lot of help from YouTube uh, for tips and tricks. Um, I watched so many other floss tubers. I, I don't even think I can begin to even name them all. Um, and I don't really have a family member who also cross stitches that I am aware of. Um, I have a family member who, who quilts, uh, but I don't know if she cross stitches per se. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm just, like I said, I'm starting my floss tube just to have a record of what I'm doing, how far I've come, because it's kind of hard to see your progress when you're this close to your, your project. Um, and this way, in two, three years time, I can look back and be like, where was I? at this point in time and then I can see where my projects were at and just really see like how far I've come and everything like that which is cool um all right on to like my my uh projects and everything I know most people start with the whips I think I'm gonna start with the finishes because there's less finishes than there are whips um, so my very, very first one was actually, let me, uh, I started it roughly March 21st and I finished it, uh, of 2021 and I finished it July 10th of 2021. It's a Etsy pattern by Sassy Stitch Boutique. Uh, if I remember, I will try to link all of these into the description below. Uh, Somewhat of a bad word warning, but I did cover it. I'm gonna put it aside. Um, so this is my very first pattern. I just like how it looks like you know a granny pattern, and then it just has that work, and it's funny. I think. Uh, let me. So I did cover it. I don't know how YouTube feels about this word, so we're just going to keep it covered. All of you can guess what it says though. But yeah, so this was my very first one, which is super fun. Put that back over there. Ooh. Um, I also completed, uh, these are out of order, by the way. Um, one of them that I completed was a little moon and I will show that in my work in progresses because it's part of a bigger project. Uh, I have also completed a little blue rabbit and I'll put a picture here. Hopefully I can. Uh, the rabbit I uh, did for a friend. He recently had a baby and named her um, like Alice in Wonderland sort of deal. So I thought a little blue rabbit. Super cute. Um, pattern uh, from Etsy. Uh, Velvet Pony Designs. I started that one May 19th of 23 and I finished it October 6th of 23. So it didn't take me too terribly long. It wasn't that big of a pattern, but I was also doing other things at the time. So hopefully, again, I have that one up there. Um, I recently did a firefly pattern. Uh, it's again, a lot of these are from Etsy. So Etsy design from Happy Sloths pattern. I uh, started it uh, February 21st, 2024. So this year and I finished it. Oh, was it in February? Yeah, it was February. It is March. Wow, the year is already everywhere. I finished it uh, February 27th. So I'm going to see if I can get this without too much of it. Ooh, ooh. Ah, well, that kind of. I'll get a picture of this one. But I framed it. It looks beautiful. But yeah, I'll get a picture of that one. I didn't realize how reflecty that would be oops uh so picture hopefully um it was really fun i want to do more patterns of firefly i do love firefly a lot and serenity is one of my favorite ships my favorite being um of star trek i love star trek i love the enterprise um let's see i have this one, I have no idea where the pattern came from. I have no idea when I started, and I have no idea when I finished. But I have this guy. Let's put this behind it so you can kind of see. I have 
this guy. Again, I don't even... I remember doing it, but I don't remember doing it. But I know it's mine. So I got that one. Set these over here. Um, another one that I have to put a picture in for is uh, from Etsy. Uh, Nikki Pattern. Um, I think that's her name on the... Or their name on the... Uh, for the website. I started it uh, 11, 10, 23, started, ended it 12, 6, 23. So it was a Christmas present for my aunt who has a little dollhouse and it's uh, Vincent Van Gogh's sunflowers, but it's just like a little, it's just a little guy. Um, so a picture right here for it. It was really fun. It was very small. I think I did it on 28 count fabric. I think it was 28 pound fabric. I haven't gone any um, smaller, bigger. I've never, I have not done a bigger numbered fabric before. So I guess smaller, a hold fabric. Um, I don't think I've ever tried like linen. Uh, assu Again, I taught myself. I don't really know all of the uh, fun uh, terms yet. So for me, linen seems like it's cloth. I have not tried that, um, but I have done 14 count, um, 25 count, and 28 count. I think those are the only counts that I've done so far. And I'll try to remember to tell you what fabric they're on. Sometimes I don't remember. Let's see. Oh, I did, um, I have this book. I like Stardew Valley. Again, when I can play video games, I love to play video games. This one is hard to play though, because once I start playing, I don't want to put it down. And then it's always just, oh, one more day, one more day, one more season, and then I'll go to bed and one more season. And then it's five in the morning and you're like, well, I have to work. It's fun. But I did, wait, come on, focus on him, please. I'm using my old phone. Right, yeah, so he's very tiny. This is 28 count. Um, compared to, I'll show you one of my work in progresses. It's a, it's a bag. I want to just do all a bunch of Stardew Valley things on it. But you can kind of see the size difference between, um, this would be probably 14 count. I'm using wash away um, fabric thing. And kind of see um so that way when i am finished with this i'm going to wash the bag and just see how the stitches hold up if they hold up then i'm going to keep stitching this bag and if they don't you know only a few hours wasted so no big deal that over there that here i think those are all my finishes that i can think of or find so there is that so on to my whip parade. Hooray! Uh, again, no particular order. I'm just going to kind of grab and, and show. Um, so first, oh, I guess slight finishes, slight not finishes. So I have um, this moon. I got a kit on Etsy from Ring Cat. So this one is complete, but the whole set is not complete. I'm doing all of the planets, yes including Pluto, and the sun and the moon and then once they're all completed I'm gonna hang them up in a row. Uh, I think they'll look really cool. I love space. I've always loved space. I know too much about space. That is for sure. Um, I then did Mars, which is really cool. Uh, this one's actually on my um, Instagram account. Uh, it's my little picture because I think it kind of looks like Vulcan uh, from Star Trek. So I just kind of made it Vulcan. So I have Mars. And then I did Neptune, which was fairly difficult. There's a lot of very subtle changes in blues, which were hard to keep track of. But I did it. It was fun. Without a grid. I don't 
I don't even know how I did not grade before, but I love doing grades now because I have trouble counting sometimes. Uh, this one I just completed not too long ago. We got the earth and we got, this one isn't quite folded back yet. I don't know how to finish a back. I have to look that up. Uh, but yeah, we have the earth. I did this one with a grid. These three are from Etsy again. Uh, the sun is also going to be the same person. They are from um, Steam Stitch on Etsy. So yep, yeah, there's the moon, or the moon, Blech. there's the earth and the moon. Obviously not to scale, but that's okay. Um, they are still very fun. Um, in my whip go, I do have like finish a planet, start a planet or whatnot. And I will show you that later. So I have these. Oh, I didn't think about where to put these when I'm done. I guess I'm going to put them right here. They're in bags, so they're, they're okay. Next, I will do... I'll just start grabbing them. These, this one, uh, I will show a picture of what it will look like at the end. But it is a rooster, and I will have a chicken as well. These ones are by Mama Witch cross stitch. I don't know what percent I'm done because it's a paper pattern. But my plan is to do the chicken here or the rooster here, the chicken here, and it has a few chicks, I believe. And then I'm going to put them into this ring. How cute. I think that'll be super cute. I like chickens, um, raised chickens. When I was younger, we've had over a hundred birds in our house at one point in time, so I'm, I'm a bird person, uh, for sure. So I have that. Um, what's here? Uh, next is a Stardew Valley map. Uh, this one is free online. Uh, I don't remember where online you can get it. It's in a different language, so I had to, like, figure out which conversion DMC chart was correct. Uh, but I think so far it looks pretty good. I have no idea what percent I'm done though because it is a paper pattern. But so I'm just just starting. Um, I don't know if I have a picture of what it will look like at the end. Sorry for all the crunchies. Here we go. Oh, if I can grab it. So that's what it will look like at the end. It's just, it's very small, it's very hard to see, but I figured this one would be fun to just kind of, you know, work on every so often. Ooh. I have like paper towel or toilet paper rolls to try to protect the fabric as much as possible from my hands. So yeah, we have that one. The only problem is it doesn't fit in a bag because I don't really have project bags. I need to either make them or buy them. Uh, I would love some project bags, bags though. Uh, then we have... Let's see. Which one is this? Oh, this one. So this one uh, is a, again, Etsy pattern. It is, I will put the name up here. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Vistiers. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm about 5.7% done with it. It is a Scrabble board. I'll put... I'm going to try to put as many pictures as I can here as I can. So we have this so far. It's for my sister. She picked out the colors herself. So I'm just kind of slowly working my way through this. And I think it's really nice. Oh, oh, sorry for the focus jittering. That is kind of annoying. 
it's trying. It's trying its best. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this one. Um, I'm not using a grid, but everything is so square and blocky anyway that I figured I should be able to tell if it's off by a stitch or two. Um, this one is done on 28 count. Uh, one over one? One, th one piece of thread and one little X. Again, I taught myself. I don't really know many of the, uh, the terms yet. I'm working on it. Um, next, let's see, I want to do the Heaven and Earth ones last. I have my first stitch along, which was from Cal Caterpillar Cross Stitch. It's Positivity Lifts, and I can't get this off. Uh-oh. Ah. Positivity Lifts. This is what I have so far. I am incredibly behind because it's already done. But that's okay. Uh, it's going to be a hot air balloon with a bunch of just positive words. So we have breathe and focus right now. And then I'm working on some little bits, as you can kind of see. Where is my needle? Oh, my needle's up there. Oops, string just fell out. Uh, I don't remember where I got this. I think uh, Joanne's. Uh, I'm not too pleased with it. I don't know. It's just like the sides aren't as tight as I would like them. Uh, but I think I know how I can fix it. But yeah, so there's this one. Put that back in its two bags for later. Don't move the camera. Uh, next is... I'll do my potions. Uh, this one is from Etsy um, by Teeny Weeny Cross Stitch. Uh, it's Teeny Weeny X Stitch. Um... I forgot to prepare this one. Silly me. Put my magnet up there. I didn't even turn my light on. Okay, so if I... Please don't hate me. Oh, it's gonna hate me. It is going to hate me. I don't even know if I can get... I might have to put a picture of this one as well. It is a temperature one, um, so it's the temperature of the city I live in, Michigan, which for 2023, which was a little crazy because April, we got some, we had like an 80 degree day in April. So what, what is that all about? Um, let me slowly roll this up so you can kind of see it. I am, how many percent done? 52.89 percent done. So I am six months done with this. Yes. I have it tied here to keep it more taut. So right now I am working on the, um, wow. What is it called? The, the shelving of the next three months before I do the bottles, uh, just because it tends to go a little faster uh -oh, if I have the shelving done first. And that way the bottles have somewhere to sit. I know they don't need to, but in my head they need somewhere to sit. But yeah, I will, I'll put a picture of that one up right now. Uh, I got the frame from a Goodwill like sto score, store uh, down in Florida when I was visiting my dad. So it was a good find. I got it for like two dollars or something like that. It's really exciting. Um, that one. Okay, I think I'm on to the Heaven and Earth designs that I've been working on. That one's not it. This one's it. Okay. Um, I have three of them started. <laughs> And they're not very far, but that's okay. I'm having a lot of fun with them. Uh, this one is the Mini Astrology Cat 
The art is by Cairo? Kiro? Cyro? I don't know how the C is pronounced. Um, I'll put the name up here with the picture of what it will look like. And this is what I have done so far. I am 2.69% done. Uh, I'm putting in the grid myself. It's a lot of dark colors so far, but I'm really excited to, to work on this one more. Um, this is part of my whip go uh, for last month, so I still need to do a lot of stitches on this one, but I might work on a different one today. We'll see. So I got that one. I am making just a weird pile down there. Um, this is the first Heaven and Earth design that I ever started. It's on a huge piece of fabric because it's going to be big. It's my big boy. Uh, it is A Pirate's Life. The artist of the picture is Amy Stewart. 90 colors, uh, 25 count fabric. Where's my book? Kind of keep the light from coming in. So you can see. I should have already had the picture up, so you'll kind of see what it will look like at the end. If not, I'll put the picture up on my face. But yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. I can't wait to get it finished. It's going to be a while, but that is okay. I love it. Um, these are full crosses. The next one will be tent stitch. Um, yeah. I love it. Love, love, love. I don't know what to do with all this extra fabric though. How how do how do you keep it out of the way? That is my question. And I just keep it in this fabric bag cuz it fits it. Thankfully it has a zipper so I can keep it at least somewhat clean. Okay. Uh and then the last one I believe This one is a winter winter reading nook by Amy Stewart again. I have a couple from her that I want to start and I just, I, their art is crazy. I love it. Uh, this one is 89 colors, 25 count fabric again. This one is 0.8% done or 80% done. And this one is, I am trying to do... Uh, tent stitch or uh, half stitch and I'm trying a different way of casting off am I holding that wrong I am no wait nope this is right I'm right um I'm just trying a different way to cast off so because they're half stitches I don't know how to end the back and tie it off so I'm just putting it really far over so that way as I'm stitching I will stitch this down and then once I get, you know, a couple stitches down, I can then cut it off. I don't know what that's called or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. I was thinking I was only going to do this one during the winter. But I might just have it all year. Um, just so I can keep practicing the tent stitch and I don't have to, like, relearn it every year. Put that over there for a second. Um... I think that's all my work in progress is. Uh, the only other thing that I wanted to show you guys is uh, because I am a, oh, sorry, bumped you. Um, because I'm an artist and I love watercolor and everything, I love making swatches of all of my materials uh, just to see the materials and how they work and everything like that. So my brain was like, oh, you need swatches of all the DMC. So I made swatches of all the DMC. Uh, I do have a complete set now, at least one in every color. And then I made this. So that way, if I needed to find a particular green or a particular red, or let's say, I 
take this off without it falling apart. If I needed a, a pink, but I wanted a specific pink, I could then grab this, search around, say, oh, this is the pink that I would like. And that one is 962. And then I can take the 962 and say, well, I want to pair it with a green. Maybe this 911 green would look good with it. Uh, so it's just a way for me to kind of see how colors are going to interact with different fabrics or each other. It took a long time, but I finished it. It's, it's a lot. It's also heavy. It's fairly heavy. Uh, it also looks absolutely beautiful because it's a nice rainbow. So I just keep this in um, my container with all of my stitches. Or my, not my stitches. My thread. Um, I know a lot of people will also show how they keep their thread. So I can quickly do that. Uh, I keep them in rings and bags in numerical order. And I have, oh, if I can open it, I got these from like Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So I just like write the number, DMC. The number was here because I first bobbinated them, but then I decided I wanted them pre-cut and everything. Um, this is from the swatch. So I do have one string that's a lot shorter than the others, but I figured once you use that, I'd never have to do it again. Um, so I have these ones, and if I have more than two color of the same color, uh, I got these off of Etsy. I will... I don't think I wrote down their name. I will put a link in the description below if you do want to pick up some of these, but they are clear. And you, they have like a little tab right here that you can put the, the number so you don't have to write. And then they have a main hole for your thread and then a little hole for any of your working thread or your loose thread or anything. And I love, love those. I definitely want to get enough for my entire set at least once. Uh, but yeah, this is how I keep my thread and I just keep it in a big plastic container. Um... I think that's it. Uh, I know I kind of went fast. I'm a little nervous uh, about everything, like the, the video and whatnot. I know I'm not looking at the camera. I will work on that uh, definitely for next time. Um, yeah, this is my this is my stuff so far. Um, I have a lot of projects, but people have more. <laughs> A lot more so I don't feel as bad um, but it's nice because if I don't feel like doing one project I have five others that I can choose from which is helpful for my brain um, yeah I don't think I have anything else I guess the only other thing I can show you is um, there's one that I want to do I'm thinking maybe a new start sometime this year in the summer Another heaven and earth design. I guess I could put up the picture, so maybe I'll maybe I'll do that. But again, Amy Stewart. Uh, it's Beachcomber's Bounty. I just love the colors in it, and I think it's so beautiful. And there's too many of these that I want to do, but it's really fun. It's really relaxing, and it keeps my hands busy, which is what I need to do to think sometimes. Um, thank you so much for watching if you've watched the entire thing um please feel free to comment um questions helpful tips and tricks anything of that sorts uh, that would be really cool really helpful i am excited to kind of officially get into the floss tube community i'm really excited to meet new people um to have others around me that also like to cross stitch I have a few friends who cross stitch, um, but you can never have too many friends that can cross stitch. So, um, again, thank you. I have no idea how to end this video, so we're just going to end it. Have a great 
day and I will hopefully see you either next month or two months from now depending on how often I want to do one of these. So thank you!